hello everybody and welcome to Wimbiba finance channel okay we have shared um the schools you know that can give you admission some of them have even up to 98 percent uh, acceptance rate from african students you know like west east and north africa and even south africa so these schools can as well give you whatever course that you applied for if you met the requirements. But the last step is this. How can you guarantee that you'll be given 100% uh, visa? You know, how can you guarantee 100% that you'll be given a visa? One thing is about accept, being accepted in a school, you know, getting the admission, getting the offer letter, blah, 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 and all that. Then the next one is applying for visa. That is where you need to employ your brain because <laughs> you have to really sit down and digest it. So I will shoot you five things that will help you to get visa. It is almost 100% guarantee. I've never seen a client that failed except you made a mistake by yourself but what i'm going to tell you now is the secret i'm using for my clients and if any one of them here they will tell you that is the truth i'm telling you so number one is this you know canada is a country they have opened their arms to receive people you know why these their arms are wide open to receive you into their country you have to do your bits your bits is none is to package yourself be who they said they are looking for 100 percent rates now i'm not ircc and i don't know anybody that works there but i know that when you follow the rules the lay down rules that are simple you will get there and everybody i know have been getting their own thing like you know i will just explain now so number one number one is this your study plan progression you know you have applied that you want to come and study package your study plan progression i will tell you where people are rejected you know why you know you know the reason people are rejected i think this is the 50 percent of reason all the people i have seen this is their 50 percent reason why they are they were rejected now study what is study plan progression is to show that you are in line you know if you you are doing a line of working in a single way line of that's your course or your industry you know working there to meet your dream or your career goals now i'll give you an example if you study law, you went to law school, you go and start baking bread. That is not career progression. I know because of Nigeria, everybody is now teaching or everybody is now working in local government or everybody is now doing all sorts of things. I know that and I understand that. But what I'm trying to tell you is this. You need to put efforts you need to put effort. Okay, I will give you an example with my own client. I have a client that studied microbiology. Mm -hmm. Then she went to go and start teaching in a school. The school that she went to go, and, you know, she was teaching the mathematics, I think, mathematics, biology, chemistry, all these three subjects in one. But then she's a microbiologist. When she wants to come here, there's a um a lecturer in absu that is doing something uh, working in a project so she have to volunteer without payment there she volunteered nine months this is the way i got to package her career progression teaching biology is okay but you need more because you need to prove that you are bang on on this you are bang on. While I'm teaching biology, I'm, I went to go and work in a university microbiology lab. 
nobody will deny you visa this is pure career progression now if you are a lab scientist you've been in school teaching you've not done anything in labs you know in, in lab and you apply to do biomedical lab or something no go and look for a place where you will volunteer a lab that you will volunteer to you know explain to them that you you need their reference and you need them you know i know one of them that did have a this thing by herself she went to a medical lab in her streets and she volunteered there for one year the man didn't pay her like the man and the wife started paying her after four months that they have seen her work they started paying her thirty thousand. she volunteered there for one year and they gave her even they packaged her very very well this is career progression you cannot derail from your career and want them to fix you no you have to fix yourself if you are a construction worker you find yourself you've not done that construction you've been doing driving no before you apply to this uh, any of the canadian university or european university you have to sort out this career progression you have to go and look for a construction site to volunteer or a civil engineering firm to volunteer or in a university you have to volunteer in their lab this is the way you can package your career progression i'm not saying that things life happen to you that you will stop them okay the second reason is about money proof of funds many people are still getting it wrong upon all the things i have written in the group all the classes i have done i see many people getting it wrong what they want to see is cash flow what do i mean by cash flow now for instance in this proof of funds what you have to do is this i know for whatever reason you're from africa you don't have the money in box but i will shoot you the secret now okay now let me say your school fees is five thousand canadian dollars and your living expenses is five thousand canadian dollars i'm giving an example i'm using five five thousand as an example please i know the prices might differ or the bills or the uh, rates might differ so five thousand canadian dollars is your school fees five thousand canadian dollars is your living cost then you need some what they call um uh, miscellaneous expenses you need like maybe you live let's say three thousand so when i calculate all these things now this uh, all the money i have mentioned now is thirteen thousand canadian dollars mm -hmm. you don't need that the day you're going to print your this thing you don't need somebody to dump the money there no 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 dump the money then after one week you go and print it and come and show them no that's not the way it works i will give you how what you have to do maybe that you're coming to canada in january this is the time to open a personal account yes open a personal account when you open a personal account today or tomorrow go and open a special personal account don't use business accounts because using business accounts the money for business have many many problems because they have to be checking checking they might even have seen somebody they asked her to bring uh, the directors of the business <laughs> use personal as personal account because in personal account it is you against them only you if you meet you the day somebody that is a you know something with his or her head might be the one handling your case and you say business money you bring business money to the equation no if you bring business money they might demand a lot of things that you might not give them or you might not even be able to look for to even gather it and give them no use personal state personal account i've been shouting it from the rooftop since i started this location use personal account and build a cash flow okay how are you going to build this cash flow it's simple open an account a new account today or tomorrow now don't leave the account there as you have opened it 
put your school fees even if it's not your money put it flush it out put it flush it out then you, you i presume that you have saved after one month or two months you have your school fees you put your school fees there steady and be getting money in and out but your after everything let your school fees like five thousand to six thousand be final deposits or final remaining money don't allow it to reduce to that because i'm coming to something now when it's getting to three months you will now because before october now most of you coming to in january must have paid you must have paid a uh, deposit you must have deposited part of your school fees to the school to get an offer letter then you have when you deposit this i remember that your school fees decreases then you get another money and keep to that account leave it in that account make it up to 10 canadian dollars leave it there when it's getting to november again put another three thousand canadian dollars leave it there you can see that this account have cash flow it has money going in coming out but is remaining a reasonable balance i will still come to because you need a backup somewhere if you want to get them to your nets now you have built your own cash flow then go to your brother what i mean somebody that the surname is linked or uncle that the establishment that you can establish the relationship the only people that you can establish a relationship are three winks let me give you the three winks now siblings parents uncles and in-law they are number three uncles aunties and in-law that is relatives and in-law these are the only three categories of people that you can establish relationship with then anybody can listen to you that this relationship will be solid now get an uncle maybe a brother that or a sister that is affluent in her own personal statement get the person to write you know make an affidavit of sponsor of your backup plan go to a court get aff affidavit of sponsorship you have your own money everything yes but to make sure that they will not find anything near you with proof of funds you need backup that backup maybe it will be your brother that is a bank manager or your sister that is a local government staff or a banker or a civil servant that have houses and maybe they have houses and all the things you know i mean investment solid investments now they will now go to court and get an affidavit with their own private statement and again get a lawyer to draft their investment and stamp it nobody will find you wanting because you have built a cash flow and you've got a backup they might say oh that after you've spent this money what were you then your backup will slap them you know back to normality <laughs> so this is how to do proof i i do for my clients although my clients i have a client that have everything everything i said no i still need a backup i need a backup because i don't want this visa to come out without this and when uh, within three weeks everything is out and she said how did i, I said this is the way i do it i i like to build backup solid backup clear direct then this is this proof of funds hmm. it is it has you know mm -mm. it has dealt with a lot of people please get it right you don't need millions in your account you don't need billion, millions check remember these four key things check the school fees and the living cost of the area you're going to merge all of them put three thousand on top as miss Lanos. then build cash flow with this figure then get somebody family with family ties i explained three people that have three categories of family ties then let one of them give you the personal statement and investment portfolio of somebody that will support you in case of any unforeseen circumstances they are there they are your financial pillar then number four of this proof of funds proof 
of everything that you are telling them if you are telling them you have a land submit a, a copy of the document if you're telling them that you have a stock submit if you even create i don't know whether they will even accept all this stock exchange foreign to get the certificates move it there let's number four let's everything be rigid please they have a way of knowing don't make mistake on this one please don't make mistakes then number three is this family ties you know study visa is temporary visa so you have to be able to show them that you need to come back you need to come back after you have so what will make you come back that is why I said, if you have a land, tell them that you have investment, that it, maybe if you are studying, maybe health science or nursing or this thing, you might say you're coming back to build an NGO, that you have bought a land for this. That's family ties. That's, and you've got your mother back up. Even if you don't have mother, your aunties, your uncles can be your mother. They just get an affidavit. Even if your sisters, your nephews, get family ties build family ties that are strong tell them if you have children that you are living back home that you have your children back home if you have um a, a job if you're still in civil service let your office director write a letter that you're going on study leave that one is even perfect you don't even if it's coming from government agencies in nigeria or bank or anything you don't even need to stress or even Church of Nigeria or Catholic. If you, you, you work in these places, there are authorities that can say that you have family ties and something that will bring you back home. Then, number four. <laughs> number four is so, like, it's so, so, um, I would say, it's so potent because your visa will be rejected and you might not even okay one if you are telling them anything please give genuine information that when researched it will match give accurate dates if you are telling them that you did this business you resigned from this business for instance the dates have to match with what you are telling them in your personal statements don't sit down when you have finished writing it and typed it sit down and read it your sentence from one to two from three to four from four to five have to you know be well structured and well supported with evidence if need be don't be very very careful you just come and don't come and tell me you have 20 plots somewhere. You bring one plot of land paper. They are not done. They will know. You are part of the owner of this investment. What your father needs is simple. Go to his lawyer. Write a letter that, look, I'm the father of this child. And this child have part of my estate. Stamp it in a very, in, in a very favorable legal firm with address po bus phone number email stuff like that in case if they want to check stamp it that's all you need all these things are so easy to gather but it's just that when people are doing this they are in rush they are so easy to gather i'm telling you they are so easy as abc i know when you're going to a lawyer lawyer might say give me five thousand or two thousand here and there but do it legit do it legit that is the only thing that will give you 100 percent guarantee of giving you a visa then number five because i would like you to pay attention in this last one because this is what gets people in problem plan to return home what are your plans I know family ties, you have your brothers, your sisters, your children, your investment. But again, this course you're going to do, when you come back home, what are the plans? That is when maybe you are an e-commerce. You went to and do data science. 
you can in that last number five you can put a robust argument that you're coming to build industries for maybe if your uncle have a big industry your uncle can say that you are supporting you are a consultant in this business as an economist then you write a letter saying you're coming to support build a business that you people want to diversify bra 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 your uncle will write a letter who you are as a consultant and stamp it it's letter head of his company that's all these people just need you to let all these things you know align all these things you're saying align that's all your visa will be given to you. There's no, if you've got an admission, meet all these requirements. There's no any way I'm guaranteeing. I will be your <laughs> guarantor in that aspect. You will get a visa. That's all. Think. Don't rush it. If you have any problem, come to WTP. Ask a question. I'll explain it to you. You know, so that it can match your own personal problem. If you have issues when dealing with it, come to WTP. I will help you there. That's no WTP is a free platform, except you will now want one to one consultants. Then that's where the, you have to pay money. But WTC, if, if WTP is pure free, whatever training platform is free, then you are ready to submit your passport application visa application and i wish you luck and i'm hoping that most of you before december you will have your visa planning to leave for january studies if you applied for january studies that are open now for application and thank you so much for coming today bye bye